The main idea I wanted to convey, according to Jagdish Bhagwati, is that it's possible that growth can occur in a country, and because the country is a trading nation, that growth can cause the country to become worse off in consumption. Here's how the analysis goes. Suppose this is a labor constraint, and this country, country A, gets more labor. Its production possibilities frontier, if it uses the labor, would shift outward to the right. In the process, notice the full employment point shifts downward, so country A is going to produce more of good X, but it's also going to produce less of good Y. The key point here is that sometimes you can grow your economy, too much of a good thing, and that increase in quantity you can push the price down. And the extent of the prices going down is that the country that was producing at P1, consuming at C1, will find that even though its production increased, the terms of trade moves against the country, export prices, and cause the country to be worse off than it was at CA1, it's now at CA2. So somewhere between the growth and the trade, the country ended up being a loser, losing the advantage that it may have had, whatever small advantage it had. This is called a miserizing growth, growth that makes you worse off. In a rational world, nobody would do this, suggesting that when a miserizing growth takes place, it is outside of the ability of residents and citizens and scientists to stop it from happening.